Timothée Chalamet starred as the whimsical and eccentric chocolatier Willy Wonka in the 2023 musical fantasy Wonka. This has been a huge task for him as we have all seen and imagined Johnny Depp as Willy Wonka ever since the 2005 movie came out. But the 2023 Wonka is really about his journey before he became a massive chocolate maker. It's about his journey and struggles and tells the story of the young Wonka. Welcome to Galore Tex. In this video, we will explore the technological details of this magical movie, so without further ado, let's begin. As expected, we saw tons of colorful details and some big Hollywood names like Rowan Atkinson, Hugh Grant, Jim Carter, and Olivia Coleman in this movie. Wonka was released in November of 2023, and with a budget of $125 million, it succeeded in gaining $618 million at the box office making it the 8th highest grossing film of 2023. People were generally pleased with the movie and it got nominated for a BAFTA, and Timothy Chalamet's performance landed him a Golden Globe nomination. Sadly, it didn't win in either category though. The movie was directed by Paul King and technology-wise, he went all in. The movie needed tons of magical elements, so to capture the enchanting and expansive visuals required for the film's magic, King enlisted Graham Page to lead a talented visual team as VFX supervisor. This group, including Framestore, Goldcrest VFX, Host VFX, and Outpost VFX, collaborated on creating a total of 1,163 VFX shots. These range from a lively CG giraffe on the loose to a playful Oompa Loompa and even a digitally crafted rooftop dance setting ensuring the cinematic scope and magical essence were flawlessly brought to life. Now if you've seen the movie, you must have been impressed with the starting scene where Wonka is traveling by boat. Crafting that opening shot of Wonka's boat journey posed a significant challenge according to Graham Page, that visual mastermind. This fully CGI sequence featured water, digital doubles, and CG birds, demanding meticulous attention to detail. Unlike previous projects, the coordination extended beyond people and camera positions. Because it's a musical, synchronization with music became the number one priority for the filmmakers. You can't slightly re-speed things or offset timings, because then the timing won't be right for the music. The film's editor, Mark Everson, used the video editing software called Avid Media Composer to edit the movie. So one of the film's most thrilling sequences is the London Zoo scene featuring that giraffe named Molly. This unique creation began with a dedicated team from London's frame store venturing out to the London Zoo. They spent a morning filming and photographing Molly, capturing her every move in detail. The acquired footage became the foundation for Molly's digital appearance. Then the footage underwent a transformation being copied, scanned, and ultimately reimagined as a fully digital actor. Graham Page details the meticulous process involving real giraffe clips seamlessly integrated into the narrative as a crucial piece to display lifelike movements of the animal. It makes it much more realistic and visually great. A full-scale puppet, although not hyper-realistic, did play a pivotal role in framing and eliciting reactions from the actors. Giraffe tests at Framestore Montreal, led by Mina Ibrahim, the animation supervisor, proved perfect for Wonka's world. Director Paul King's passion for animation guided the team through what he wanted the giraffe to do by acting out the motions. They would interpret that and look at real giraffe references as well, which helped get the right timing and deliver that comedy. Another important character? We all know him, the pint-sized Oompa Loompa, played by Hugh Grant, rendered entirely in CG. The production team worked carefully to shrink his appearance down while making sure they were considering the creature's non-human anatomy. Neck proportions were adjusted for distinct movements with a human-sized environment. Character expression relied on precise marks and timing, enhanced by a lofty puppet on set for framing and eyeliners. According to Hugh Grant, it wasn't a very comfortable process. He had to wear a special suit that captured his body movements. Sometimes, he didn't know how much to act with his body and how much was being picked up by the cameras. 
You might ask why he agreed to play the part if he felt uncomfortable. Well, he joked about needing money and having many children. According to director King, he got the part because of his amazing sense of humor, and we think he did great. His performance was perfect for the Oompa Loompas. Now, according to the film editor, Hugh never had green hair, orange skin, or even wore a costume. They only had references and transferred Hugh's performance into a CGI-created character. During a pivotal scene with Timothy Chalamet where he captures a lofty in the jar, Hugh worked remotely from a booth with witness cameras, allowing for real-time reactions from both actors. Some of those lines ended up being improvised on the day. They did little workshops with Hugh, motion captured Chris Catelli, the choreographer's dance moves, and took references from Paul King and the animators themselves. To get the nuances of the body performance correct, the animators would do a roughed first version and Paul would refine little things. The movie is set in a supposed city with the elements of Europe. For a rooftop dance sequence featuring Willy Wonka and Noodle, portrayed by Cal Lane, the team had to do some extensive pre-visualization of how the buildings around it would actually look. The focal point here was Gallery Gourmet, as it stood in the heart of the Grand City. On top of this structure is a glass dome, loosely inspired by Milan's Galleria Vittorio Emanuel II. The practical elements of the scene were a raised walkway, a flagpole, and a proxy for the dome. It was shot fairly traditionally with blue screen. Do you see those balloons? Well, there were no real ones present on the day of shooting because Timothy and Keller were on wire rigs for support and there was a chance the balloons could get caught up in the wires and tangle up. So how did they manage to put them into that scene? What they did was film a version of the sequence with the dance team on the floor while holding the balloons and film that to show how the balloons would move with a dance twist. Next, the city layout was constructed. Characters were placed atop of the roof and body tracking was done to get reflections in the glass and attach the balloons to the hands. The result is pretty amazing, right? Let's have a look at the cameras used to film now. At the core of the film's visual storytelling lies the Ari Alexa LF, a cinema camera widely acknowledged as the best cinematography tool. Known for its outstanding image quality, this large format camera impeccably captures the vibrant and whimsical nuances of the Willy Wonka universe with an unmatched precision. They used Ari RAW 4.5K source format, which resulted in an amazing high fidelity image and processed in a 4K digital intermediate. As a result, that master format has retained the vibrancy and intricate details of the original footage. The film's visual allure is further enhanced by the inclusion of Cook Anamorphic eye full frame plus lenses. They have a distinct anamorphic characteristic, and the lenses synergize seamlessly with the Ari Alexa LF, introducing a magical flare and bokeh effect, which makes the fantastical elements of the film so incredibly believable. Together, the Ari Alexa LF and Cook Anamorphic eye lenses form a powerhouse combination playing a pivotal role in bringing the visual splendor and enchantment of the Willy Wonka narrative to life with an unparalleled clarity and charm. They went for an aspect ratio of 2.39 to 1. The wider frame was perfect for storytelling and showing all the details of Wonka's world. The wider view makes scenes feel more epic and you can appreciate the grandness of Wonka's universe. It's kind of like having a big canvas to paint the whole picture, ensuring nothing magical gets left out. The critics were impressed by the overall production, and the movie has an 82% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. The director intends to bring Wonka sequels in the future, and they will surely be as colorful and magical as this one. So, have you watched the movie yet? What did you think of it? We would like to know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting Galore Text videos. Thanks for watching.